Hello everyone, this is SM6YZT. Uh, I built a little antenna for my handheld radio. Okay, you can see it, I have it indoors at the moment. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a. Uh, well. The negative three of them, and one positive there. And I made it yesterday, and I <coughs> put it on a BNC contact coaxial thingy. But there was one problem when I were about to connect it to my radio because it wouldn't fit. I thought it was BNC, but then I read the manual and I realized that it wasn't BNC connector on this radio, it was SMA. So, what to do? What to do? <sighs> At first, I was looking around on web pages to see if I could find a SMA connector to so that I can connect my radio to the antenna. And the antenna is for two meter, meter band, by the way. Um, but I found a web page to a store in Gothenburg, or in Sweden, uh, it's called Kjell or Company. The best store ever, you can find anything there. And there I found this. It's an uh, adapter, SMA male to BNC female. So, yes, connect it to your radio like this. Oh well. And then you connect the BNC to the antenna. And then you have the antenna plugged into your radio. Oh, Jesus Christ! Let's see if we can find anything here. I just put, <coughs> put it on scan mode. So let's see if somebody talking on one four five zero five two. This is funny. It re it receives the the cable tele television. So I think there is some coaxial cable or something leaking the signal so I can pick it up on my well I can't hear it as clear as I did yesterday I could hear a movie in my radio that wasn't that funny but anyway uh, it's an improvement actually I did use the antenna yesterday but I didn't have a connector so I made a connector myself uh, uh, well, it's possible if you want to do any, something, you just make something to make it work. But now I have a real connector, and that's really good. And I've uh, reached a new repeater that I haven't uh, talked on before, uh, about uh, 40 kilometers away. But uh, the antenna is indoors at the moment, but I, my plan is to put it out outside. But right now I don't have enough RT68 because when I bought it at first, I said um, I would like to buy 15 meters, but they didn't have 15 meters, so they said we have nine meters. And then when they got back from the from the storage room they they only had you know, four or five meters so I'll have to wait with that but on Tuesday I'm thinking of maybe going on a field day because it's a it's a test day on the, the 70 centimeters band here in Sweden and more the world in the Nordic countries and so I'm thinking of maybe 
going on a little field day by myself. You take the build a uh, 70 centimeter antenna and go climb a mountain and uh, participate in the test with my 5 watt uh, handheld radio. And let's see if we can do some contact. Actually, I've never <coughs> been participating in a concert before. Well, uh, I I have, but only on on short wave, and that was really fun. But it will be a new experience on the HF band or the UHF. Yeah. Well, that's a little update. I got my antenna, and maybe I will build a jaggy today. I have the element cut out and uh, just to put it all together. But as always, it's easier to say it than do it because when you do it, you there's a lot of problems happening all the time, and you get frustrated. At least I am. So, well, we'll see if I make a Jaggy antenna, a four element Jaggy. Oops, a little fart there. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. This is uh, SM6 Yankee City Charlie 73, and thank you for subscribing to my channel.